we're on. Hi YouTube, you should be saying it this time. Hi YouTube, it's Sarah Tyndall in... Edward Tyndall! And tonight we are... It's night time? Doing... Frozen oh. Thaw. Frozen thawed hairless rats, oh yeah. Oh yeah, and these stitches are bothering me. If you would like to see a video of me ripping them out, leave it in the comments below. And while you're at it, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. So, tonight, what we're gonna do, I just got off of a live with DEA Exotic, um, Andy, and we were talking, having lots of laughs and fun about getting the info for the rat snakes that I am going to be shipping off. So, we are going to be feeding them. And I don't have no pinky mice right now. I've got 40 pregnant mice, but no pinky mice. How convenient, right? So what we're gonna do is, we are going to take the rat, we're going to take rats of the hairless variety and we're going to improvise and I'm going to show you all how to do so. We're going to cut tails. Cut tails, people. Like so. And then we're going to create little pinky mice. There's a pinky mouse. There's a pinky mouse. And I'm going to repeat and repeat that process until we have enough to feed our different ones there's another one that see there's a lot of meat on there it's kind of like an uh, oxtail you get in your uh, I don't know if y'all eat oxtail or not but you can get it in the deli section that's this is oxtail for the baby rat snakes basically so if you're ever in a bind and you happen to have big rats and their little ones, um, you can do that. And I'm going to be feeding like that. Um, are you ready, my love? Yay! Okay, here's another one. Check out that oxtail. There's a lot of meat on there, people. Perfect for little rat snakes because they have to eat. And beautiful it just does not get better than that like I said before you never know what you're gonna see on Edward Tindall YouTube like tonight you're getting to see what it looks like to process and cut up the little rat tails now we have all these little rat steaks badass MVP and Q I know all right baby snakes yeah and everybody might might not like um, that it don't matter if they like it or not it's not about them it's about Edward Tindall YouTube um, I need to trash real quick. Got all of these cohabs still. And as y'all can see, they have pooed in there one time. I cannot stand one poo in my container, so we have provided a new, a new one for them. We're going to move them from here. I'm going to try to offer. I'm going to show you how I want to do this. I'm going to offer this. Let's see if they want it. I'm going to have to have a camera person. Have an issue here. Make sure you're on the action. Because I'm really on the action. Whoa. Really on the action. Really on the action. Nope, nope. Try to offer this. Alright, show, show them the ones I'm at in case one of them decides to take it. That one's getting away. Can't go too far. Are you watching this, Nick? Yes, how he's interested maybe. in this too? You have to watch them when you're feeding them all together because if one of them 
decides he wants this and he's fixing to take it another one decides he wants it and he's fixing to take it it's going to be something that will in fact be something I'm going to offer this one and just because you don't see us see me do it right now see they haven't ate yet this is their first they took their first shed if you look in here at this poop you see this poop right here how it's yellow that's like the egg the first uh egg they absorb their egg through the belly button the yolk and uh then they poop that out and after they poop that out they will be getting hungry if they're not hungry now they will be shortly so i'm gonna put here they're not getting this. This one is interested though. Look how he's acting. Like what you got, daddy. What you got. Three, four, five. I like little cobras. How they pop out like that. I was talking to Tom Crutchfield about that. He said, no, cobras are nothing like rat snakes, but I still believe, not to dispute a legend, but I still believe they kind of act like cobras because if you open a cobra door, they're going to jump out at you and these do the same thing multiple times. I'm going to keep my eyes on these guys. Got a couple of tails in here. You got to watch them because if you don't, they can and will probably eat each other. Watch them. We have this other one here as well. How many minutes are we at? Six. Get close up. close up, but I don't want to miss the strike if he strikes. Oh, he struck, but he didn't grab it. Oh, he struck and didn't grab it. Oh. He <laughs> shit. He got the wrong stuff. I'm going to leave this in there for him. As y'all can see, he is bad to the ball. We're going to feed several things here. Bear with me. Shine in here. Pac Man Frog. Up close. Very close. You're not on him, man. Good. Now you're really not on him. Get it back over. Get it back over. You're going to miss the shot. You're completely out of the frame, baby. Baby. Go back toward you and down. Down. All the way down to the frog. Right there. Right there. There you go. You got to be watching what's going on. Oh, got the tweezers. Right. Kick him off a little bit so he gets this it's raining. Yes, there he goes. All right, Pac Man Frog, eat rat tail world, people. Are you watching, Chris? I hope you're watching, Chris. Yes, you can feed your Pac Man Frog egg, frozen, thawed, hairless rat tail. So then. On other news, I forgot to show y'all. Well, she wasn't eating for me, so I didn't do it, so I'm gonna show you now. Here is Bloody Mary, the blood red blood python. The red blood python. That's head for cherry bomb. She did in fact eat two fuzzy rats. She swallowed them whole like an egg roll. It was very interesting the way she did. She struck. She grabbed the mouse, he squeaked two or three times, she fed live, and rolled up around it, and then she let go, the rat moved a little bit, she squeezed again, and she let go, and then she was just like boom, 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 and ate it up, gobbled it up, so that is Bloody Mary, and I'm looking for a male, I forgot what I'm looking for, but it'll be a head for Terry Bomb as well, hopefully. What was that one called? T negative. No, not that. Uh, not I, do want, I do want T negative. The one you found. I don't know. Was it not an ivory, was it? I think it was. I think it was an ivory. I want an ivory male that's head for cherry bone. That would be something. Weeeeet! Um, what else are we doing? Scar. Perhaps. Scar. I want some of these bigger ones, right? I think his head's right there, baby. Yes, it is. 
sack soon. Here's the incubator that I'm working on building to house the sack in so there's no issues. There's score people. Sorry for not enough lighting. Um, I'm hoping to bring you guys better quality content soon. <clears throat> Babe, from my help, the only help I got just left. I love it when the only help I got just left. Babe. Babe. What? Oh, she was going to get a light. What an awesome girl. I need you to help me. Like hold this hold this uh, bucket up or something because I can't reach in there with my hand. Grab Brett's. Hold it back a little bit so I can get in there. Turn the light. Here she is. Whoa, she's right here. Look at her. Look at her. Whoa! Did y'all see? See that? She loves to tell us hairless rat. We're going to put another one right here so she thinks something's going on. And then we're going to take this other one right here. Look at that rat. That's what a frozen thawed hairless rat looks like. And the reason I got so many hairless rats is because we raised so many for people to buy as pets and they just did not buy them. Look at Hold it, hold it so I can grab it. So, that can shine in here for her. They did not buy them, so. Um, the good thing is my snake won't have to digest um, hair. hair. That sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. Tindall, people. All right, there's that, there's that. A little bit of cleanup stuff to do. I'm gonna check back on these guys here, see if any of them are eating something. Um, yes, yes, look, do you see that one right there? Come here with that light, baby. Baby, baby, run. There is, that one's got a rat tail in its mouth and its throat swallowing. This one has a piece of one in its mouth right there, as you can see. Well, these other ones will get off of him, never mind. But that one is eating, so they are going to eat when they're left alone, but they have to be monitored. I can't stress that enough. Monitor them, friends. If you don't monitor snakes when you have a lot of them, that is how accidents happen. Everything will be fine in a cohab enclosure with just about anything. Sometimes, until it's not. And with that being said, y'all stay tuned for the uh, breeding we're going to be doing in a couple days or whatever. I'm not going to upload videos now because of some kind of bogus copyright strike that I got. I mentioned in another video before. I don't know what it was, but I am fighting it, so we will uh, see. Might have been my shirt. Might have just been me. Edward Tindall is actually a copyright now, but I think I own that one. Or she does. One or the other. Edward Tindall and Sarah Tindall out. Peace and love. Don't forget to hit that like button. Give it a thumbs up. Or if you don't like it at all, give it a thumbs down and move along to watch Barney or something.
And Barney. <laughs> yeah. Really? That's okay. the only screwed up Barney's thing. Barney's fine. It's the only screwed up thing I can think of. <laughs> I thought Sesame Street. I love Sesame Street. Big Bird is the shit. Let's so not get Barney started. Barney or uh, Caillou? I don't even know what Caillou is. That's after my time, people. All right, we are out. Peace and love. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, wait a minute. I can't go yet. I got to show you all this. Look at here. That is what the scar do. Sleeping with the mouse. In it. He's not sleeping. He's mouth. trying to eat it. All right. Bye, my peeps.